Hello, Dick Van Dyke Show friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is KJ Ricardo, and today's episode is a production spotlight on the casting of Buddy Sorrell. I have featured the casting of some of the other characters, and so up next is Buddy Sorrell. After Dick Van Dyke was cast as Rob Petrie, Carl Reiner and Sheldon Leonard had the difficult task of casting the supporting characters. Sheldon Leonard learned from his experience working on The Andrew Griffith Show that it's important to surround your lead with a rich, amusing supporting cast. After Rosemary was cast as Sally Rogers, she asked if they had found anyone for the third writer. Carl said they hadn't picked anyone, and so Rose said, good, because Maury Amsterdam would be just great for this. She added that Maury used to be a writer for Fanny Price, Milton Berle, and Fred Allen, and he's also a comic. Carl Reiner first met Maury while Carl was the host of the game show Keep Talking. Maury was a panelist, and Carl agreed that he was a great comic, and he didn't really need much more convincing. Maury Amsterdam was perfect. But the character of Buddy Sorrell was originally very different. He was supposed to be a 23-year-old hypochondriac who was talented as a young writer. Maury was clearly much older than what Carl Reiner originally wanted, but he realized that he could easily rewrite the character of Buddy Sorrell as a veteran comedy writer. Maury was perfect for the part as the human joke machine. He excelled in vaudeville, the radio business, musical compositions, and many comedic performances. Carl asked Rosemary if she knew where Maury was. Rose said, are you kidding? I'm his daughter's godmother. I've known Maury since I was 11 years old when we did the Al Pierce show. And so that is true that Maury Amsterdam and Rosemary grew up together. And so they've known each other a really long time. And so it just made the perfect sense for Buddy and Sally to be Rose and Maury. Rose gave Carl Maury's phone number and Carl called him that afternoon. It was a conversation Maury said he would never forget. Maury said, when the phone rang, I was out in the backyard shoveling snow out of the driveway in Yonkers. Maury's wife called him to the phone and the conversation with Carl was very brief. Carl explained that he's making a show with Dick Van Dyke and Rose Marie. He asked Maury if he could fly to Los Angeles the next day. Maury said, I can leave here in 15 minutes. I want to get out of this GD snow. Maury flew out to LA and Carl knew he was Buddy the instant Maury arrived. Carl said he epitomized every hack comedy writer in the business. Maury always said he was just playing himself. Maury was Buddy Sorrell. It was hard to tell where Maury left off and Buddy began. Maury proved to be a very valuable asset to the show. Carl said, we couldn't have had a show without Maury Amsterdam. He literally was the human joke machine. You give him a subject and he would give you five jokes on it. When the script needed a buddy joke, Maury would give them five. Maury became the character to provide the perfect one-liner for a scene and he did it so well. Maury also penned the lyrics for the show's theme song. While you don't hear the lyrics to the theme song, it is important that Maury did that, and so that's kind of a fun fact. Buddy is a great character on the show, and Maury was just the perfect person to play him. You can't imagine anyone else. And pretty soon, it became very obvious that Buddy needed a character to play off his one-liners the most. And that would become Mel Cooley, which I will feature Richard Deacon next in my production spotlights. And that's it. That's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this production spotlight and that you learned a little bit more about how Maury Amsterdam got the part of Buddy Sorrell. It was just perfect timing that Rosemary thought of Maury. She knew that Maury would be perfect for the job. They were really great friends in real life. And so we have to thank Rosemary for that. And I just can't imagine the show without Maury Amsterdam. He was perfect as Buddy Sorrell. And we love Buddy. He's just so great. So let me know what you enjoyed best about this video. And I would be happy to read that. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time with another video. And remember to always laugh often.